Hello, I'm Jeremy from ProductsMadeHere.com and I'm reviewing products today with Daniel. We're here reviewing products from Vermont today on Products Made Here and uh, we're going to start off with something I'm really excited to try, some apple cider vinegar with a variety of different flavors made in Barrie, Vermont by Vermont Village. And they employ over 35 people and I'm going to go ahead and try this ginger and honey. I'm going to try the turmeric. Damn. Did I pronounce it right? Yep, turmeric. All right, turmeric, turmeric, turmeric. This is silent R, I guess. Yeah, mm -hmm. just like berry, some people might say bari. Yeah, I don't I, know. I, I bear. Wasn't, I wasn't sure how to say it. Yeah, but there's a few ways to say a few things, but one thing's for sure: apple cider vinegar is super good for you. I keep a bottle in the shower for my face. It's good for your face, clears up your skin. It's also good for your digestive system. It's kind of like a cure-all. Like if I was on my big fat Greek wedding, you know how he loves the Windex. I love the apple cider vinegar. <laughs> it's a cure-all. Uh, it's a cure-all. <laughs> you know, you're set. Have a little apple cider vinegar in that water. Have a little apple cider vinegar in that tea. So, apple cider vinegar is awesome. I usually have Bragg's and it's usually pretty spicy. Like, a lot of people are like, kind of scared to try apple cider vinegar. It's got a great cap on it. You hear that nice little oh, that is a nice pop thing. noise? Wait, how did you pop it so long? Oh, oh there, there you go. go. There you go. That's a nice noise. <laughs> so let's try it. Ginger and honey. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Before you try, it does say yes. Shake it. Oh. The best stuff is on the bottom. Yeah, that's you true. Can't forget your labels. It. Read them. <laughs> and if you read these labels, you're gonna see that it's also gluten-free, organic, mm. and uh, really simple ingredients on here: organic ginger, or unfiltered apple cider. I think they have organic every honey. organic stamp known to man, so I'm pretty. <laughs> I, I trust that they're. Yeah, we're organic. confident in this product. <laughs> All right. And it also has how to serve it in the back. So if you're confused on how to drink your apple cider vinegar, it says it on the back. Let's do it. Let's do it. Cheers. Cheers. Healthy New Year. Healthy New Year. Wow. I like that. Wow. So ginger with apple cider vinegar is an awesome combo. Usually like I'll put apple cider vinegar in my tea with a little bit of honey or ginger, but I got it right in here. So I'm really happy about this. It's not as spicy as Bragg's too. Like I'd say out of 10, Bragg's is like an eight. You're just like tiny little sip, just micro microdose in your little apple cider vinegar and this thing you know it's like a six you can have a bigger sip of it and so you can use more of it so yeah if you're a little bit shy about apple cider vinegar this is a great flavor and um i don't know great taste too yeah the turmeric and honey was fantastic it's it's definitely strong but it's it's uh not as strong as i would think i think this is a it's like a nice mild strong if i had put it yeah, it's a and milder apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar, it's hard to use the word mild, but yeah. this is a milder one. Yeah. So turmeric and honey. Turmeric, super good for your joints, ailments, st stiffness. You know, I thought the ginger would be even stronger in here than, than I expected. And you definitely can taste it, but it, it does, I think, taste similar. So I love this. Like, I love the smell of turmeric. I cook with turmeric and stuff. This has got a real strong turmeric essence to it. And um, yeah, it's a little bit a little bit like spicier if you're not accustomed to the taste of turmeric than ginger, um, but it's a great flavor. So I'm a big fan of both of these. I'm not sure which one I like the most out of those two. I'm gonna have to go back to that. I'll go back to it too, even though I think I know which one I like more. Yeah, it probably is the ginger and honey. It probably is. I'm gonna try this. Same thing. We got the berry section now. We got these- uh, We're going fruity. Berries and berry. Berry Vermont. I got blueberry. And I got cranberry. Alright. Cranberry's good for um, your um, urinary system and uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, cranberry's got a lot of benefits. I'm not, what is blueberry good for? I don't even know. Flavor? Flavor. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Definitely, definitely fruitier than those obviously. Um, it's a, it's, a, it's a little sweet for me, personally, but um, I think little kids would definitely love that, or if you're into like that kind of fruity cocktail. Mm. Yeah, I'd say if you're with grandma or some people who seem like they love their cranberries, <laughs> this one's the one for you. Um, yeah, it's not as strong, like it doesn't have that like strong punch in the gut cranberry, it's a subtle cranberry. Mm -hmm. So, I like it. I like it. I would, you know, I would totally add this to like a little bit of tea or something with the right flavor or have a little okay. sip in the morning. If you know someone who's a big fan of cranberry, they would probably love it. Yeah. You wanna try blueberry? Yes, I do. I'll try this one. 
Yeah, I think that's much stronger than the blueberry, honestly. Or, or maybe now my, my taste buds have worn <laughs> out. Yeah, so the blueberry's super sweet. Super, super sweet, but like, let's say you've got a kid who's got like a little sickness they're overcoming or something, and you want to give them a little apple cider vinegar because of its benefits, I'd use the blueberry and just put a little bit in their drink or their water or whatever they're drinking. Definitely. So let's get into how we rank these. Uh, ginger and honey, number one. Turmeric, number two. I'm gonna go with cranberry, number three, and then blueberry, number four, just because it is so sweet. So I was gonna go blueberry, uh, number three. So that's the only where that's the only place I disagree with you. But yeah. otherwise, I'm definitely with you on the uh, ginger first. Yeah, the blueberry just got like a little sugary sugariness still in my mouth or something. <laughs> Um, uh, all right, but yeah, those are great products. They're they pride themselves on being like helping local. They're locally made. They employ over thirty five people, um, and they're all about natural products. And we have a few of their products on our website. Yeah, definitely check it out in the description below. We have all of these um, companies listed and their products listed. So yeah. definitely check them out. Vermont Village. All right, let's move on to. Um, these chess pieces over here, which are from Maple Landmark. Maple Landmark makes these in Middlebury. They're expert woods craftsmen. Um, they make a lot of different toys out of wood. Uh, they're known for their train pieces, but uh, we actually needed a chess, uh, a chess set up. We already had this chess board, and so we needed some chess pieces. Yeah, we got dogs. Like, if you're a New England family, you probably got some dogs or some, you know, you're running a muck in the house. You might lose a, a pawn or, or a queen or a horse or something. And you, you, you know, we have we usually have like a checkerboard, some checkers, like <laughs> yeah, some so checkers and pawns all mismatched, pieces. and these are thick yeah. and strong, and you know, oh, we got definitely. we got a Bernice Mountain Dog and a, and and a French Bulldog, and they would love to take a chunk out of like a queen or a king or whatever, and just ruin chess pieces. So this sure. is strong, good, handmade, nice, nice, nice set, and it also says on the bottom how to use it. So yeah, a queen, really it cool. shows how to use it. So that's great if you forgot. Yeah, I have really nice engravings of, of both how to use it, what piece it is, and and uh, the design of the piece, which is really cool. And the fact that it's really thick, you know, it's kind of fun when you're destroying your opponent just to like yeah. make Check. it out a nice neat thump. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. Um, Maple Landmark just makes really quality products out of quality wood, so can't speak highly of, uh, enough of them. Out of Middlebury, Vermont. Yeah, they've been doing it since the 70s, so. Oh, wow. A long time wood, woods craftsman. Nice. Yeah, supporting local, playing chess with the family. I'm a fan, definitely. Not going to lose pieces too easily under the couch. Great chess. Board. All right, so let, let's move on to one that's uh, near and dear to your heart. Oh, this is true. Um, so I was blessed enough to wear a pair of darn tough socks um, when I hiked the Appalachian Trail 2,189 miles from Georgia to Maine. And I got a picture of me right here wearing darn tough socks. And I also have, I'm sitting on top of them, the <laughs> pair of socks I used for 2,000 miles. Never had to buy another pair of socks. I had two pairs, sorry, that episode of vinegar. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I had it the same. <laughs> um, I had two pairs of socks. One wasn't a pair of Darn Tufts, but Darn Tuff is world renowned. The Appalachian Trail has teamed up with them. They have Appalachian Trail version of Darn Tuff socks. They're like a nice, tight fitting sock. They're tested in like, Tested in Vermont conditions, New England conditions. They're durable. They, they're made in Northfield, tested there. Made in Northfield, Vermont, tested there. All weather comfort. Yeah. It says right on the packaging, guaranteed for life. And that's the truth. These socks are tough. Darn tough. Used from Georgia to Maine. Yeah, yeah used from Georgia to Maine. They look, they look, I, yeah. I couldn't tell. I, I just did laundry with them. Or not, you know? Yeah. They definitely, you know, when you're hiking a lot, they might still smell, but that's that's a given. Do you I know? smell these now? Or? Give them a sniff. I mean, yeah, it definitely smells like they came out of the laundry, so you're fine. Not not like they've been used. Rick Cabot even or, said, yeah, if our yeah. socks aren't the most comfortable, durable, and best fitting socks you, you've worn, you can return them for another pair. No strings attached for the life. They are so positive about their product that it is the best socks you've ever had, that they're, they're, they're for life, and they're, and, they also come in a lot of different colors, sizes, and what a better gift than to get someone a nice pair of socks. So, still made in Vermont, USA with yarns from America and around the globe. So, I'm a huge fan. Marina Mole, they're great socks. 
I'm missing a lot of socks like everyone out there, and uh, my birthday's coming up soon, so if you got any ideas. Yeah, I might get you a pair of some Appalachian Trail socks. Perfect. Yeah, darn tough. Big fan. Right. And uh, let's get you involved with the bag mom, because I know this is near and dear to your heart, too. It's near and dear to my dry skin, for sure. Yeah. Um, <laughs> My, I, I have eczema, which really sucks for those who have that, and uh, the winter months are especially brutal, but Bag Bomb makes it much easier, and you know, it actually is a, it's a godsend miracle product for me. Um, so about Bag Bomb, it's, it's made since the 1890s, so it, it goes back a long time. 1899. Uh, there, was, there was folklore about the product, it, it really uh, helped out different animals types of skins you know they would yes. on that made the cows not shape up um it's it's made out of some you know really really good ingredients uh it's a very simple formula but works magic um Ooh. and yeah that's, that's that how does that feel jeremy not too thick it's like kind of like less thick than vaseline it's real smooth I get it behind my ears my lips are a little bit chapped on it. <laughs> how does that taste i'm not tasting it i'm <laughs> But, but it's got like you definitely a, tell the say the smell. And I then, feel like I'm at grandma and grandpa's. Yeah, yeah. You, you know what? It does really smell like old people, and I think that's because old people use this a lot because they have really bad dry oh. skin. So it makes a lot of sense. It's the it, old people smell like bag bomb, not the bag bomb smells like old. People. Exactly. I, I think that old people know what the best product is for the dry mm. skin. Yeah. So the fact that this smells like that is indicating that. Mm, this I just shaved this morning too. Old dry skin. Oh, that feels good. I just shaved them. Mm. I, I didn't really use the best lotions. <laughs> nice. And where is this made out of? Um, that's a great question. It's made out of Lindenville, Vermont. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah. No, Northeast Kingdom, too. Been since the 1890s. All right, great. Another great Vermont product. And now we got some more hygiene. We got Vermont Slope, Sweetgrass, Foaming Hand Slope, made with organic oils. We got seven fluid ounces. Um, this is non-toxic. It's free of detergents, sulfates, GMOs, gluten, artificial color fragrances, and it's never tested on animals. I didn't even know soap was tested on animals. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, um, I'm happy it never was. Yeah, this one wasn't. I don't got it's to make it. But... It's made in <laughs> Middlebury. Um, and yeah, they very much pride themselves on being organic and environmentally friendly. If you buy these, a percentage of the sales go to um, environmental organizations and nonprofits. Ooh. You like it? Sweetgrass flavor is it, one we got. We got a few different flavors on the website. But <laughs> I, I like the sweet. The same, I put yeah, all you just gotta rub it, rub it, rub it. Rub it. But anyways, <laughs> yeah, it definitely smells like sweetgrass, as it says. Sweetgrass packaging's really cool. I feel like I was just picking a Christmas tree this morning or something. I had some evergreen in my hands. Maybe I was petting on a Newfoundland or something, and I needed to just freshen up. But yeah. I do like that sweetgrass. Very so sweet. I'm more of a lavender guy, and they do have lavender, so I kind of wish I got that. But nice. the sweet grass really does smell like a nice farm on a spring day. Do you want to put this on your lips as well, by any chance? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> okay. But I think probably if you had, you know, little kids who are who are being troublemakers and you want to put soap in their mouth, you know, this is organic, um, and I'm sure they don't like the taste of sweet grass. <laughs> I'm a big fan of it. I think that it would be great next to your kitchen sink, and um, yeah, I'm a big fan. I think that you get that nice sweet grass essence. Definitely. So these are our first slew of products that we're showcasing on productsmadehere.com and we're really excited to showcase other entrepreneurs from Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, Connecticut, Rhode Island, and we look forward for you guys seeing all these other products on our website. Absolutely, yeah. Definitely check out the description below or we'll have the links to all of these companies, our website, productsmadehere.com, where we're showcasing New England made goods. And um, let us know if there's any uh, products you want us to review for next video. Definitely. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Thank, thank you.